In this video, we will present you the learning scenario of the activity Time to bring your sprite to life and the composition of the entire code. In this activity, the players find out where the programming blocks are stored and how to find the appropriate ones, what categories of blocks are there, and how to connect blocks into a sequence. Students don't need previous programming experience to carry out this activity. In this activity, students will learn where to find programming blocks and how to connect them into a sequence, how to move a sprite and how to make sprite say something. The expected duration of this activity is 45 minutes. The students can work individually. The role of the teacher is to help them and to explain the more complex paths. Now we will see the entire code. Students have a dog and they want it to move. First, let's look at where the programming blocks are available for you to use. On the left-hand side, you can find different categories of the blocks. Motion, Looks, Sounds, Pen, Control, Sensing, Operators and Variables. We will first use Move Steps blocks. These blocks are color-coded, which means that, for example, all the motion blocks are written on blue blocks. Task for students. First, find the block and then double-click on it. To start connecting block into a program, you have to drag and drop your Move Steps blocks to the Scripts tab. You can double-click on the block inside Scripts tab to execute the code. To create a new sprite, students will have three options. To add a new turtle sprite, arrow icon. To paint a new sprite, paintbrush icon. Or to take a camera screenshot and import it as a new sprite, camera icon. The programs in Snap are usually started by clicking on the green flag. Task for students. Click through different categories types and try to find the block that starts the program if the green flag is clicked on. The solution is... If you want the program to work in a correct sequence of steps, the blocks have to be connected as with the puzzles like this. Now, every time you click on the green flag, the sprite will move for 10 steps, but from different position on the picture. If a block has some white space on it, this means that you can change the numbers or letters written there. Task for students, make sure your character moves for 30 steps at a time instead of just 10. Make your character say something. Where are you going to find the block say? You may find both say comments in looks category. Ask your students to discuss on the difference between say hello for 2 seconds and say hello. The main difference is that with Say Hello, you do not tell the program to wait for a certain number of seconds before the code continues or that it should stop saying it at any time. If you want your dog to bark like in comics, you have to click on Looks category and choose Say Hello for 2 seconds. Drag and drop these blocks to your scripts and add it to the code you have already put together and replace hello with woof woof. Now click on the green flag, circle to it red and this should happen. When you click on the green flag, the dog moves 50 steps and says woof woof. Now students can try to write a program that will lead your dog from the left part of the stage to the dog house on the right side of the stage and bark after every move. When it reaches the house, it barks I'm home. 
use these blocks. Students can move the dog to a selected position on stage by drag and dropping it. If you want the dog to start on the same position every single time you click on green flag, use this block. You can choose your own X and Y position by writing a different number in the white spaces. A possible solution may look this way. Here is the reflection and evaluation. How many times did your character have to repeat the move and say sequence to complete the task? Is the number the same for everyone in the class? Why is that? To solve the tasks, students can be helped with the prepared instruction. For more information, visit the project website.